Hello, my dear students. You all are very welcome in very first lecture of standard eleventh lecture. My dear students, you have entered in standard eleventh, just passing standard tenth, uh, which is uh, very crucial. Now, uh, this standard eleventh syllabus will be little different from your standard tenth course. in terms of difficulty level you have to give you much better what you have focus over the 10th my dear student uh, it is the first lecture of standard 11th lecture 1 and uh, in this lecture student i will discuss about the mathematical tool mathematical tools which are very important i am b s pande students your physics teacher uh, as you know very well we are suffering from this uh, pandemic issue and we have to focus uh, online studies and we have to uh, be careful while using our time in proper way on online classes it might be that you will not able to understand very well by yourself so whenever you required and whenever you feel hesitation uh, sorry by the a uh, difficulty you should ask in group without any hesitation okay my dear students so let we start today lecture okay in mathematical tool in physics student basically three mathematical branch you have to carry otherwise uh, all the mathematical branches will be very important but the first is calculus i hope few students started their study also calculus second trigo and the third one is algebra okay in this trigo and algebra the concept you will use almost of level of standard 10th little bit different but calculus you haven't study in your standard 10th or up to 10th so far okay in this calculus you have to focus over three things student one it is the derivative that is the differentiation it is differentiation and the second one this differentiation is also known as the derivative derivatives the second thing will be integration integration this integration is the reverse process of differentiation that is the derivative and the third thing it is the rate measure or the graphical study okay rate actually this calculus was introduced this concept of calculus came in mind of sir isaac newton to simplify the physics actually to study uh, the uh, tangent of any curve how we can uh, represent the tangent over a curve so we uh, are studying here about the differentiation okay and this calculus it is totally based on the calculation but in physics this particular things will really help you a lot student so you have to focus over this all without taking much time wasting much time i would like to introduce you syllabus uh, that is the mathematical tool how you have to use for this standard Eleven. Student, the first we will start 
with the differentiation in our classroom lecture we will focus over the detailed study here i want to just gear up you to accelerate you so that you can help yourself also so the differentiation as i told you it was used to find the tangent to a curve okay so remember it is used to find tangent to a curve in detail we will study what is this tangent and how it is used okay but you have to remember till now it is the simple definition of differentiation it helped to express the another thing you must remember it helped to express formula okay formula of physics like you can say for example uh, velocity acceleration okay etc you will study in standard 12 few more physical quantity that you will use even this current also actually this calculus gives the instantaneous value at that present time what are the things that you can calculate okay this will be done by the calculus basically the differentiation my dear student uh, student let we have written y is function of x you have to uh, study because this is your beginning in standard 11th uh, this is very new thing so i am taking you from bottom uh, very minute things i will explain uh, you have to study this particular things in your standard 12 actually in mathematics but you have to use in physics that's why i am teaching over here okay y is function of x this will be considered the y is function of x okay you have to pronounce it in this way if i'm writing y like this one then what will happen it is y is the function of time here it is the x the position and here it is the time so in this way you will pronounce it this particular thing this is a simple representation y is a function of x y is a function of t that is the time and what does it mean by the function of x and function of y i want to explain okay i'm giving you an example to explain these things remember students kindly you will be ready with your note copies and pen while study and note down the things and also the things that you feel you didn't understand so that after lecture you can ask in whatsapp group i will provide you the assignments after the uh, classes in group that will help you a lot you will also find the various things in my description of youtube channel okay now student what does it mean the uh, mean by this uh, function okay y is the function of x if we are writing y is the function of x it means to represent y we have to use only the members which are in terms of x for example y is equals to x square plus 5x plus 3 and other example it is root under x plus 3 x square minus 9 these are here you can see this y depending on x and y 
it is only having the one function it is the x so x will change and it will give the result of y if you are telling that y is function if it is written y is the function of t what does it mean we are writing like this way y is equals to t q minus 90 plus 5 so this is the function of t okay remember so this is the way of telling the function and not the function if it is written y is not a function of x it means y can be represented as x square plus 5t here y is the function of x and t okay it is the function of this one is the function of x and t function it means the family or the member in mathematics we used to say now come back to the uh, differentiation so what is meaning of differentiation as you have discussed the definition what is the actual meaning of differentiation so try to understand my dear student you are having a line okay you are having a line of length l now you are taking a elemental section of this length this one you cut out from here and you are having long line like this one so if this line having the length l meter then what will be the length of this line you will write x meter is it possible the length of this line is l meter and you will represent in other function like x kilogram no it is not possible so differentiation it means you are differentiating you are differentiating distinguish any particular function with respect to other or you are correlating you are giving the correlation of one function with other function or the comparison you can say okay for example if you are writing here uh, before uh, next uh, uh, we discuss about the uh, uh, particular differentiation we should uh, study we should know about the operator of differentiation how the operator will work in differentiation okay but remember differentiation is nothing but to get the elemental section to distinguish a very big function in small parts this is the differentiation actually in this way you have to use in your physics this particular differentiation okay so now we will study about the operator okay my dear students uh, whenever we talk about the operator operator is basically that thing which help you to get output of desired okay things or the operation output uh, so I am talking about here uh, operator Uh, so the operator it is dy by dx now sir how we will pronunciate this one since it is very new so I am just explaining here how you have to pronunciate it is the differentiation of y this one okay but with respect to x y with respect to x okay you have to differentiate y with respect to x suppose if it is written like this one dy over dt then what you will pronunciate my dear student you will pronunciate differentiation of y with respect to t okay with wrt it is the with respect to t you will pronunciate in this way okay why it is important differentiation actually we know that to correlate one function with another function but if uh, it is differentiating if y is differentiating with respect to t it means there is a relation between y and t for example if i am giving you x square by x then you can find the value yes but if i am writing here x square by could you find any result and says no rather you have a relation between this t and 
x, you cannot find the value of t x square by t. So the differentiation it means this x and this x should have the same function if you want to represent a relation or the differentiation. Okay. Now, uh, the another question comes in our mind, which function can be differentiate or which cannot be differentiate. Okay. So here differentiable and non-differentiable, I'm explaining. That are the differentiable and non-differentiable. non differentiable okay if dy by dx it is written and y is the function of x then only it is differentiable remember what does it mean if y is representing in this way x square plus 2x then you can differentiate this x square plus 2x with respect to x it is non differentiable okay if this y is t square plus 2t okay then you cannot or anything t square minus 2t plus 2t you cannot differentiate with respect to x so dy by dx cannot be obtained how this will be differentiate so this will be differentiate using simple rules it will be given for differentiation you will differentiate by simple rule by simple rule but non differentiable dy by dx if it is not differentiable then you will use chain rule chain rule for differentiation remember the way I am teaching you this calculus will be totally different by the way your mathematics teacher will teach you okay i am teaching here only for the use of this particular calculus in physics directly otherwise you will study about the function in detail uh, domain and range and then about the first principle okay directly i am and then limits and continuity before that starting this differentiation integration but directly i am teaching you this differentiation integration because you have to use in physics and i don't have very much time sufficient time to give over this topic okay my dear students now so this non-differentiable which is not if y differentiating with respect to x and y is not the function of x, then you will use chain rule to make it differentiable okay and then we will start differentiation now uh, in physics uh, what is the meaning of this differentiation in physics particular in physics okay what is the meaning of differentiation let me discuss meaning in physics okay so if you are writing dy by dx dy by dx it means you are doing a study of change remember a study of change in y a study of change in y that is the change in y dy it means the change in y okay a study of change in y with change in x with change in x okay so you are doing a study of change change in which function y with respect to change in x a very simple example if i am telling you the rate of this pain is 15 rupees it means i am giving you the value that is y 15 but at this present time if it is 5 rupees more expensive nowadays it means in that particular time interval if i am talking about the rate the time time interval that is a function the value of y how much change so the change in y with respect to or with change in x we are studying this is the meaning of differentiation in 
physics okay my dear students now i will tell you about the function uh sorry but the rules that you have to study in differentiation what are the rules okay so the rules for differentiation rules for differentiation rules for differentiation the first rule i will talk about here it is if any function represented in uh, this way y the first rule y as a function of x to the power n remember n is a constant that is the number okay it might be the number it could be positive or negative x is variable that is changing and y is a function which is represented in terms of x okay so the formula directly i'm giving you formula you have to remember how you will differentiate this y and you have to find differentiation with respect to x as i told you it is only differentiable y is differentiable if it is a function of x and with respect to x you can differentiate this y okay simply if you have to find dy by dx that is the dy by dx so in place of y what you will write x to the power n okay so the d x to the power n by dx now if any function comes in this way what will be the answer so we are writing the answer and this will be the formula you have to remember i am erasing this one if any function you find in this way then you will write n x n minus 1 and this is the formula okay let me solve a very simple question for this one the two or three example we will take and then we'll conclude today's lecture so my student look at here if i'm giving you examples y is x square and the question find dy by dx first can you differentiate y with respect to x yes we can because y is function of x and we have to differentiate with respect to x so we can find the differentiation now answer so we'll put dx square by dx you can see at the place of n what we are having here 2 what was the formula look at here x to the power n by dx at the place of n we are having here 2 so the answer is n x n minus 1 what is n it is 2 x variable will not change remember always so 2 x n minus 1 that is 2 minus 1 okay how much it is 2 x to the power 1 it means the answer of dx square by dx okay dx square by that is the differentiation of x square differentiation of x square which is x is 2x the very simple i hope you understand okay now the one example i'm giving you if y is 1 by x square and you have to find dy by dx okay pause the video and try to solve okay now i'm solving this one so d this 1 by x we know the formula of x to the power n so 1 by x square can be written as na x to the power minus 2 yes now we are having the value of n how much it is minus 2 the very simple now so the dy that is x minus 2 divided by dx is n how much minus 2 x n minus 1 okay so minus 2 x to power minus 3 so the answer is minus 2 by x to the power 3 the very simple okay 
can you solve few more question my dear students here i'm giving you a few question that will be your homework after solving this particular question you will send in whatsapp group okay so the very simple question kindly note down and you will solve this is your homework so the first y is equals to 1 by x cube second y is equals to root under x third y is equals to 1 by root under x fourth y is equals to x to the power 3 let me change a little bit root under x to the power 3 and the last one it is the fifth y 1 by cubic root x whole square remember cubic root if you write a square root it means this is the power 1 by 2 cubic root it means power 1 by 3 okay student so we are concluding today's lecture with uh, uh, this five question my dear student and we will study few more uh, rules of differentiation uh, in the next lecture okay my dear students thank you very much